Hi everyone, I'm Gina from Gina K Designs and your host of Stamp TV. Today on Stamp TV, I'm going to show you how to make an elegant New Year card. Now if you're like me and a little bit behind in Christmas cards, this is the perfect card to send to family and friends, and you won't be late. Let me show you the tools and products you need to make this card project. First you're going to need some ink, and the ink I'm using is the Versamark ink. You're also going to need some sort of um, embossing pad, and this is the embossing magic pad. This removes static from the surface of your cards and also will absorb any oils so that the embossing powder will only stick to where you want it. Now I have two colors of embossing powder here. I have the Gina K Designs Gold Detail and Silver Detail. For this card I'm going to use the silver detail, but then I'm going to show you one that I made in gold. You're also going to need some stamps, and the stamps that I'm using are from the Past Sparkling Christmas Stamp TV Kit, and these are from the Holiday Season Set. I'm sorry, these are from the Sparkling Christmas Set. So if you're looking for a really nice New Year's greeting, it's in that set. Now for cardstock, I have some of our white cardstock. This is our layering weight cardstock, and then I have a heavy base weight card base. I'm also going to be using the score buddy and my heat tool. So to begin, I'm going to take the smaller piece of white cardstock and I'm going to use the embossing magic pad over the entire surface. Then I'm going to start with the bigger of the two snowflakes. And I have a little bit of Versamark here. I'm going to ink up this stamp with Versamark. And then I'm going to randomly stamp three of these snowflakes around the outside of the card. And put one here. Then I'm going to stamp my greeting, and this is the Happy New Year greeting, right into the center of this piece of cardstock. Excuse my head if it gets in the way. Okay. And then I'm going to use the smaller snowflake and kind of fill in those other areas to add a total of about five snowflakes. And we'll do just a little piece of one right down here, like that. Then I have a piece of scrap paper that I folded in half, and I'm going to use my silver embossing powder. Pick that up in an area where there isn't any Versamark. And I'm going to sprinkle that over the surface of my areas that I stamped, like that. All right, I'm put that aside. Now I'm going to emboss this. Now it's always good to let your embossing gun heat up a little bit first. You're less apt to warp the paper that way because the powder will melt much more quickly. Our silver powder is so beautiful. You get so much shiny detail using our fine detail embossing powders. Just turn that a bit. Can you see all that sparkle and shine? Now if you look at this, I'm looking at it right now and I'm thinking, I need something right there. You can go back, add a little something, a little bit more embossing powder, it's never too late to go back and add. Okay. So I'm going to put this aside for just a minute, and I'm going to grab that other piece of white. That's the piece that's going to layer behind it. And I'm going to create a silver border. I don't have any silver cardstock. So I'm going to do this using some Versamark ink. I'm going to ink all around the edge on all four sides. 
And you can see I'm using a piece of scrap paper underneath so I don't get Versamark all over my desktop. Although it really won't hurt your desktop, it just makes it sticky. And then if you use a piece of scrap paper, you could just throw it away when you're done. All right, so now I'm going to add that silver. all around the edges. And see how messy that is? That's not a problem because that's all gonna be covered up using that panel that we just created. But this will make your silver cardstock, or the area that looks like silver cardstock, perfectly match your snowflakes. Now that piece is going to be put aside, and you can see how shiny that is. And I'm going to do the same thing for the larger of my two layers here that are going to go on the back. I want to make all of my silver match. Now you can do this different ways too. I mean, maybe you would prefer all of the cardstock to be black or to be red. You can do that as well and you can add that silver edge over any color. It will totally cover up because the embossing powder is opaque. Okay, so you know what? I'm gonna put this powder back in so I can start over. And we'll add powder all around again. that aside and emboss that. And again, you can see how quickly that powder is melting because the gun is all heated up. Just turn it. I haven't tried this one in silver yet, so you and I are seeing this together for the first time, and I really like the way that silver looks. Okay, there's one more area that we're going to emboss. Let me just turn this over, and that's the inside of the card. I'm going to add a little bit of the embossing magic, and I'm going to stamp my inside greeting, and I'll read that to you once I get it stamped. and we will just put that right in the center there. And of course, if you want, you can also decorate with a little silver snowflake coming in from maybe the bottom, like right about here. And let me grab this again, and we'll add that silver powder. to the inside. Okay. And this is a very nice New Year's greeting. It says, may this joyous New Year bring you good friends, good fortune, and good health. And you can see all that shimmer in there that you get. So, Let's assemble this card. So my first step is going to be to take this piece and I have a smaller piece of white here. But to me, I feel like this white needs a little bit of something. So I'm going to grab my score buddy. And what I've done with my score buddy is I've put a little bit of Sharpie right here on the three inch mark so that I can easily see where the bottom of three inches is along with the top. And I'm going to put one corner at the top of three inches and the bottom, the opposite corner at the bottom of the three inch mark. And I'm going to score lines a quarter of an inch apart down this entire panel. 
And the score buddy is great for this because you've got all the quarter of an inch marks. You don't have to move it around too much to get exactly what you want. Now I'm going to flip it and put it in the same position the other way. And once again, finish off all of those quarter of an inch marks. And this really does take the place of an embossing folder. If you just don't have the right folder, or maybe you're stamping somewhere with friends and you brought your score buddy, but you didn't want to bring your embossing folders and your embossing machine. So you can see I've got some stripes there. Now I'm going to do the opposite again on that three inch mark. And down every quarter of an inch mark from there. Just make sure you hold it in place though. You don't want it to shift. You want these lines to be nice and straight and crisp. So I'm kind of moving my finger to secure it as I go. And the last bit, let's make sure that's straight, will be done here. This really makes a nice tiny diamond pattern. Now you could do half inch marks and have a bigger diamond pattern, but the quarter of an inch is nice for the background of a card. And you can see all of that nice texture you have there. All right, now this panel is going to go on to the larger of the two panels that I embossed with silver. this positioned. There we go. And then this whole panel is going to go on top of my card base. Right in the center. And now my focal image and that other piece that I embossed in silver are going to get mounted together. It gives just a nice little edge of sparkle. And then this whole panel is going to go right on top. Now, if you want to jazz it up a little bit, you can use foam pop dots, the foam squares, or you can put it right onto the surface of the card. And that makes it very easy to mail with no additional postage required. So there is my finished card project, and you can see all that pretty sparkle inside. And let me show you the one that I did in gold. Gold looks really pretty too. Here's the gold one. You can see that. Now I didn't do a snowflake on the inside. I just did the inside greeting in gold. But there is gold and there is silver. And you take your pick. But either one is an elegant card to send to family and friends for the new year. I hope you've enjoyed today's Stamp TV project. This is the last Stamp TV video for 2015, but make sure you stop back in January for brand new videos. We've got lots of new and exciting things coming for you right here at StampTV.com.